let's uh, look at the example code for this solution. Uh, we have made the class final uh, because uh, we don't want any sort of instance uh, for this class. Uh, although making final will prevent class from instantiation by its uh, subclasses. So that's why we made it final. We have taken two uh, constants, calculate sum and calculate product. They are basically type of calculation that should be performed uh, on, uh, that should be performed looking at the context. Uh, sum is 1 and product is 2, these are the constants. We have made the constructor private so that direct instantiation won't be possible. Then this is your method get calculated value where you pass first the type of the calculation that you need to perform and then the two values A and B, these two values. And here goes your code where you check if the type of uh, the calculation is sum written A plus B, otherwise the type of the calculation if it is product uh, you can return A into B, otherwise you can throw in a legal argument exception. So this is the simplest way of implementing. It can be, uh, a, we have created a separate class for it that is class calculate. To understand the strategy properly, I have taken the algorithm very simple. Simple calculation A plus B and A into B. But this can be a set of uh, around 100 statements uh, for a particular uh, algorithm. And here also there can be uh, 50 lines of code. So uh, we are not making it much, much complex to understand the algorithm, but we are concentrating on strategy. So I have taken a very simple example. Let's see the code, uh, how this can be used. So it's very simple. This is your client application where you want to use uh, this algorithm. There can be uh, many statements.